Moving on to Hydra versus Modesty. Hydra is the one with the win in this series so far, which is kind of surprising because Modesty is the ZVZ specialist. Uh, Hydra is not the ZVZ specialist, that's for sure, even though he did win his MSL final in a ZVZ against a very innovative Zerg. Great. But yeah, Modesty is a ZVZ specialist. And Modesty has gotten to the semifinals before. And uh, Modesty would definitely fulfill the OSL's requirement of at least one random weird Zerg in the semifinals. It happens almost every season. In fact, I think it's happened every season. I think, uh, trying to think back on all the semifinals, I've done so many OSLs now, they all kind of start to blend together. I was thinking back about an OSL the other day, I was like, oh, that was the Batu, right? No, wait, that was the Bacchus. No? Oh, God. Maybe it was the Incruit. Except up at the two o'clock position in yellow is Hydra. Hydra in yellow. That means down at the eight o'clock position in red is Modesty. So Hydra up one in this coin flip of a matchup. This matchup comes down to micro. If you lax on your micro, you're going to lose. If you use, lose one single drone, that can completely wreck your entire game. Because it snowballs. Oh boy. So yeah, as, as I said, it would be very strange to see um, a semi-final without a random Zerg. And we had Modesty last season, I think. Thinking back, Shine one season before that, I think. And then we had Hero. And what were the other ones? Type B, that was another one. Yeah, so many random Zerg players get to semi-finals. We need at least one. Come on, Modesty, fight! Hydra is too good. We have to have a, a player that no one thinks is going to achieve anything in the semifinals. It's a requirement. I'm being kind of overly harsh on Modesty there. I know a lot of people don't <laughs> don't like me to trash players. I have trash players in the past. I've kind of learned as I went that first year of commentating what not to do. Uh, I know one thing you don't do is criticize a player for, if you say something like, oh, that was kind of crappy play, people will uh, descend on you and say, what, how are you, why are you calling them crappy? They could beat you any day of the week. And I'd be like, well, yeah, I know that. But I decided to back off from something like that. And they catch up and mustard overlords passing each other in the middle of the map. This is a two-player map. So going for 12 hatch, not really that viable. I think a pretty similar build from both. The extractor came up a little bit earlier for Hydra, and this is going to be uh, kind of the 12 pool expand or over pool expand from uh, Modesty on the other side. Looks like we're not going to see the expansion yet from Hydra up at the 2 o'clock position. Yeah, I still can't believe how ungodly epic my new computer is just looking at it behind my screen. I used to think this laptop screen was large. But it, my new screen is at least twice as large as this. I don't know how I can go back to this small screen now. Oh, jeez. And I've been playing Deus Ex Human Revolution so much. I, mean, I just hear the Detroit theme when I'm like out shopping. I just hear that constantly in my dreams. I'm just going through Walmart, like, doom, doom, humming the theme song. So freaking awesome. But anyways, back to the game. Zirkling is going to meet in the middle. We might see a Zirkling engagement right in the middle, unless one of the players decides to be defensive. Hydra is holding his ground now at the moment, probably just trying to get a good Zirkling arc out there, anticipating the Zerglings, trying to find them. Let's see if Zergling speed comes up for either uh, on the other side. I just saw the four Zerglings from Hydra here. So it looks like he might have just pumped the the four. And Modesty sneaking inside of the, the base now. The second hatchery coming up now from Hydra, but not at his natural expansion. Doesn't think he'll be able to defend it. But now he does have enough Zerglings to fight 
back what Modesty has, but he might have to bring his drones into this as well, because Modesty does have two additional Zerglings uh, working their way inside of the main right now, so he's probably going to group those up. This is going to be extremely difficult now. I see the Spire coming up now uh, for Hydra, but he just lost a bunch of troops there, and his Zergling speed up now from Modesty. He's just going to push this thing with Zerglings, pick off two drones. Two drones go down. That, that might be game, actually. Pick off two drones. This early. Another drone just went down, so Hydra is falling apart here. Did not anticipate this kind of Zergling pressure from Modesty. Mousy working his way in. The Sucker Colony is up now, but I think it might be too late. Yeah, so many drone kills. A continuous drone kills. Zergling still going for this. And the two hatcheries up now. Hydra looks very exasperated. Trying to fight this back. He, trying to get to that spire as quickly as he could. But yeah, his economy is going to be wrecked as a result. He does not have a lot of uh, drones left. So eventually I think that he'll... Well, not Hyuk. <laughs> Modesty is going to Hyuk uh, Hydra here uh, by taking down all of his drones. Because if he continues to pump Zerglings into this, which I'm surprised that Hydra didn't start out with. It's usually pretty damn standard uh, to go for as many Zerglings as you possibly can right out of the gate. He went for four, possibly trying to force a dr another drone early. I'm not sure what Hydra's plan was there um, by skimping on the Zerglings as he did. He would have been able to hold his ground a lot more effectively if he did have the additional two uh, at the beginning. But now he has his Mutas out and th four drones that I see. Another drone goes down. There's three drones. Another drone goes down. And one drone. We have one drone now for Hydra. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. GG from Hydra. Can't jumpstart an economy like that at all. No matter how much damage he did with those mutas, he would not been able to get back in that game. So Modesty takes game two. We're all tied up. Let's move on to the third set of this series.